WWE has the chance to do one of the coolest matches ever if they're able to make a Bloodline Civil War War Games match happen later this year at Survivor Series. Think of the possibilities that are before us with this match. On one side, you would have the new Bloodline led by Solo Sokoa, having Tama Tonga and Tonga Loa as his heaters, as well as potentially Jacob Fatu. And if they're able to make it work, The Rock on one side and on the other, you have members of the original Bloodline with Sami Zayn, The Usos, maybe even an ally like Kevin Owens, led by Roman Reigns. This would be the ultimate way to not only culminate this bloodline civil war rivalry that they have built up over the past number of weeks, but also lead up to a match between Roman Reigns and The Rock that would determine finally, finally, by God, finally, who the actual final boss, who the actual tribal chief, who the leader once and for all of the bloodline truly is. And the ability of WWE to tell that story, I think, is there. They have clearly shown throughout this entire Bloodline saga that they are willing to go all in on the quote-unquote cinema. They are willing to do and put vast resources and amounts of time of their TV show towards the Bloodline, and they should continue to do so. And to me, you have to have Roman and The Rock in it. I know that many people believe that The Rock is not going to come back, especially for a Bloodline Civil War War Games match. That's not his MO. He is the type to come back for a big time singles match or a tag team match like he had against Cody and Seth Rollins this past year at WrestleMania. He's not coming back for War Games. But right now, The Rock is in a significantly different position than he was even a year ago. This is someone who is trying to rebuild his reputation in Hollywood. If you go back and read some of the reports that have come out about him, it's not the most flattering stuff. You combine that with the fact that he recently got $30 million that we know of from stock options during the TKO merger that ended up with him being on the board of TKO. This is someone who is in more incentivized than ever to compete in that ring and make sure that these big shows like WrestleMania, like Royal Rumble, like Survivor Series go off without a hitch and are as big as they possibly can be. This is a part of WWE, not only establishing themselves as the dominant brand, we all know that's what they are, but establishing themselves as a major pop culture phenomenon. That is the next evolution of World Wrestling Entertainment WWE. And a big role in moving that vision forward will be with The Rock, will be with Roman Reigns, will be with this story. They are building Solo Sokoa as this new leader of the bloodline. He has taken over. He is essentially holding Paul Heyman hostage at this point. He has the Tongans behind him. He could have very soon Jacob Fought 2 coming in the works as well. And if that's the case, do five on five bring in The Rock, bring in Roman, and make that the way that you have Roman do his big return. You could tell a story where Solo Sokoa and his bloodline are running a rough shot and they are absolutely beating down the former members of the bloodline, bring back Jimmy Uso and have him side with his brother and realize the error of his ways and have the new bloodline beat them down. And then when they feel like every hope is lost, Roman makes his return. And when Roman comes back, he's coming back with the fury because not only does he feel like he was screwed out of his main spot in the bloodline, but he feels like he was betrayed by his own family in doing so. So he's gonna come back with a fury to recapture and reclaim his dominance over that family. And then that's where The Rock can come in and tell amazing stories. The Bloodline, as I've said before, is probably the best story that WWE has ever told. This saga has gone on for years, and if Triple H and The Rock have any say about it, it seems like we are only hitting our stride when it comes to this story. And if that's the case, man, oh man, we've got some great stuff to see. But I know one thing everyone wants to see is the Bloodline Civil War.